response to the October 7th attacks. Our investigation has found several videos on social media sites like TikTok and YouTube, all linked to the accounts of Israeli soldiers. This isn't a beach party. It's the front line of Israel's war with Gaza. Soldiers have been documenting their time in an active war zone, posting content on social media. Some of those videos show Palestinian detainees. We've identified several of the soldiers uploading these videos and the locations they've been posting from in Gaza. This is one of the videos we've analysed. It was uploaded onto YouTube by an IDF soldier, Yossi Gamzulatova. Detainees stripped to their underwear in a sports stadium in northern Gaza, some kneeling and blindfolded. One of the soldiers in the video is a lieutenant colonel, which we identified by the insignia on his uniform, suggesting he's aware that filming is taking place. Mr Latova also uploaded another video where a soldier is seen interrogating a man, stripped to his underwear and bleeding. He's then walked through the streets of Gaza barefoot. The IDF said the soldier who posted the video has been fired and that the detainee has been released. We've shown this footage to human rights experts who say the filming of detainees and the publication of such videos may breach international law. Warfare in the information age gives us unique access to the front line. But for some, this conflict is simply a backdrop for their social media content. We asked the Israel Defence Forces for its response about each of these incidents, but they haven't come back to